Welcome to Learning Bites. We're discussing seven threats to your team culture. And what we're gonna be discussing in this Learning Bite is the moving goalposts. Whenever you have moving goalposts in a team, it's, it undermines the trust in a team, particularly the trust in management. You begin to get a lot of apathy in your team, a lot of disillusionment, and people begin to stop being engaged and stop fully committing to get stuff done because they'll often reason to themselves, oh, well, it's just gonna change anyway. Moving goalposts also make it very hard to hold people to account because if they haven't performed, and then the goalpost has moved. Is it their lack of performance or is it the moving goalpost that has caused that lack of performance? Some recommendations for you around this. For me, one of the things that really help people to understand what they're doing and why they're doing it is to be clear on your mission and your vision and your values inside your organization. They're the absolute cornerstone of the culture in your organization. If people are clear, on what they're trying to achieve in the bigger picture, it makes it a lot easier for them to align their current actions to their future actions and to the future outcomes that the organization is trying to achieve. It also allows them to take more ownership of their role because they can see where their micro actions are trying to take you on a more macro level. Some questions for you then. Does your team know that they're winning each and every day? Do they know what winning looks like for themselves and for the organization? Are people able to take the actions that they're doing every day and relate that to how those actions help the company achieve its goals? And do people understand why they do what they do and what difference and impact that makes on both the internal team and the external customer? Some actions for you to take then. Ask your team if they know what winning looks like in their role and if they can explain to you how what they do contributes to the bigger picture for the organization. Make sure that your team members are comfortable and confident to come and ask for instructions or to check in or challenge if they feel goalposts are moving or if they feel that it's not clear what's expected of them. Help your management and your leadership team to be very clear on what's required for the week, for the month, for the quarter, for the half year, for the year, so that they're able to explain to the team why they're doing what they're doing. And if something does need to change, why it's changing and how that relates to achieving the bigger picture, the bigger output, the bigger goal that you're aiming for. Be clear for your team. Remember, clarity equals action. And the clearer people are, the easier it is to take action, the easier it is for you to get results. Yes to your success. Thanks so much for watching. If any of this resonated and you'd like to reach out, feel free to give me a call on 0272-987-523 or email me at mike at thinkright.co.nz or if you'd like some additional resources, go to our website, www.thinkright.co.nz.